Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here with another photo class. Let's check the focus. All right, hopefully that's pretty good. We're filming once again on the Canon Vixia camera. Let's hope everything turns out okay. Yesterday's video I noticed was a little dark, so I made a few corrections. Hopefully this will be a lot better. Okay, today's class is very important. It might be one of the most important videos that I ever make. So, you've gone to the store or online or you were gifted your beautiful camera. Whether it's digital like this Olympus or film camera, you've gotten your camera, you've taken photographs, you've gotten better and better and better over the months and years and your photography is excellent at this point now you have started to put your photographs online like instagram etc but you can't just stop right there your photography is your art and you must start to preserve your photography now Keeping it on the memory card, okay, is not good enough. Memory cards get lost. It's not good enough just putting it on Instagram because the uh, resolution is terrible. It's not a place where you want to keep your photographs forever because time goes quick. Months and months and months. Look, here it is September 2022 already. And it seems like just yesterday I was... Uh, cleaning up after Thanksgiving okay so once you have photographed and then you put your pictures in your computer right that's not good enough keeping your images in your computer is only half of what you have to do this is what I'm talking about once you have put your your photos your image files in the computer you must back it up now this what I'm holding is a one terabyte external hard drive right to USB you just plug it in no other power required and you download you make a copy onto an external hard drive these are not a lot of money okay these are under a hundred bucks this is a terabyte this will hold thousands and tens of thousands of your photographs and your video clips too. So you just plug this into your computer. It makes another drive. You just send to this drive all your files of photography and video if you have any video clips and it's saved. Now what do you do with this? You put this in a safe in a fireproof box at the least. Okay. Now. This is also what I still use. This is a SanDisk brand, 256 gigabyte, uh, what is it called, flash drive. These are really inexpensive because it's USB 2.0. These are dirt cheap, but guys, it's 256 gigs. You can plug this into your computer in a USB drive send all your photographs to this right or maybe not all of them. you might have more than will fit on here but send 250 gigs of your images to this and put this look how little space this takes it's a size of half your finger and then you put this in a, in a safe or at least in a fireproof box they sell them everywhere okay now now that you have them on, you've taken them from your SD or CF card, right? And you've put them in your computer and you've made another copy onto an external drive, right? What am I always saying to you guys? You must print your photographs. This just happens to be my 37th volume of portfolio work, okay? Now, this one holds, I don't know, maybe, maybe 68 by 10s, uh, but 
uh, over the 37 portfolios that I have, some of them, it was ridiculous. I bought the wrong ones. They hold 500 photographs. It's too big. It's too heavy. When you give it somebody to look at, it's like handing them a bag of concrete. It's too big. But this one, which I love, it's made by File X. F I L E X E C products. Okay? The outside is vinyl, right? I just write on it with a uh, Sharpie, all right? And you put your. Now, this is perfect for me because. I use my Canon Pro 100 printer, right? And I, the paper is eight and a half by 11. So these pages are eight and a half by 11, right? And remember, I only print the top 10% of uh, my keepers. You can't print 100% of your keepers, all right? You wanna print the best of the best, okay? You wanna print the best of the best. You put them in these portfolios. You get them on Amazon. Guys, if I tell you that this particular one is like six bucks, okay? And it's preserved. These are archival quality plastic, vinyl, whatever. Um, I have them going back years and years. No discoloration, but look what it does. Because it's in plastic, right? On both sides. And because there's no air in there, because it's closed, it protects it from light and air and pollution. And if you have a smoker in the house or a dander, if you have a cat in the house, right? This is what you have to do. Inexpensive, but necessary. Don't keep your printed photographs in a pile, in a drawer, in a box. No, keep them in a portfolio. This way, you can hand it to somebody and they can open it and they can look at it. This is also a great idea if you want to give these out as gifts. Now, yes, you can print uh, photo books, right? I, I push that all the time, like at Walgreens, right? They make beautiful bound photo books. But guess what? You could do it on your own. You can get prints made at Walgreens if you don't have a photo printer, right? It's like, I don't know, I think they're up to $3.99 or $4.99 a piece for an 8x10 get them you put them in these portfolios which are about five bucks now you wrap this up and you give this as a gift for a holiday or a, or a birthday or anniversary whatever now they have your photographs and it gives them the opportunity to take it out of here and frame it on their wall okay that's just another idea one last thing before I sign off for this uh, video I have a lot of film shooters out there, okay? This is how I store my negatives, okay? This is how I store my negatives. Glassine individual envelopes. These envelopes, you can buy them on Amazon, okay? And by the way, everything I show you here I bought. I have nobody sending me anything, right? You, you could write on it easily with a Sharpie, right? I put the date, the place, the camera, the film, the all the developing uh, methods like here. I put Rodinol, one plus 25, eight minutes at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. The film was GP3 Shanghai film. The camera was the Nikon F4. The place, the date, everything right on here, okay? And then, you keep them flat in a box. Now, a lot of my film shooters out there, you know that sometimes you'll get curly film once they're dry, right? So once you scan them and you put them in your envelope, they start to curl, they start to turn, right? Here's a trick. These little boxes, right, that you get on Amazon, these are boxes for like, I don't know what, jewelry or something, you just look up box with a cover and your size that you want. I took this, this is just a heavy piece of, uh, three pieces of uh, scrap I had around the house. They're wood, right? But they're very flat, straight. And when I have curly negatives, I put the glassine envelope in here. I put this on top and close it. And you just put it away. And over time, over time, they will flatten out and straighten out, okay? Let's put this over here for a second. 
So let's just wrap this up. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. Thumbs up, please. Email me, blackandwhitephoto at AOL.com. Email me any question you have about photography. Uh, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. It's mandatory. All right, guys. I hope this was interesting. And by the way, I know you're all going to ask what camera this is. I just happened to reach. This is uh, the Olympus E520. A beautiful, uh, not mirrorless, uh, four-thirds camera. This is a DSLR, but it's a four-third sensor. Okay. Um, here. It's a four-third sensor. It's a real DSLR with a mirror. Okay. And the output on this camera is incredible. They're really cheap. This is the E520. Image stabilization built in. Come on. Fantastic. All right, guys. Remember, you must back up your photographs if they're in your computer only or on your SD card that's not enough you got to back it up on an external hard drive and then unplug it and put it away and what I do is I put on the calendar every four months four months back up the pictures because I, I don't do it every day okay I do it every four months I take every picture from my computer and I put it on here and then I put it away. And when this gets full, I just buy another one. See what's on sale on Amazon. All right, guys, let's put that away. Okay, so today was all about storage and keeping your photographs forever. All right, guys, subscribe. Let me get up and turn the camera off. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.